A day with Caleb, and this is not just a fashion statement, this is life. <laughs> this is Celebrities I've Met, part 11. Yes, we've moved past part 10. It's been a little while since we've done this. Uh, if you're not, this, if this is your first time uh, with this, Go back and watch parts 1 through 10. Uh, we started in the early 2000s uh, meeting celebrities, and I've documented every celebrity that I've met, and it's, it's quite a list now. Uh, we start with part 1. I think part 1 also has where I met Stan Lee. Uh, so part one all the way through part 10, go back and watch those after you watch this. But we're gonna rapid fire tell maybe a quick story about some of the celebrities. And we'll also include a picture over here. That's why I'm kinda, I kinda have this invisible line so we can put pictures here. But we'll start with MegaCon 2023, uh, and our first one is Lorena Vincent. She was in Power Rangers Lost Galaxy and Cabin Fever, and that's one Josh really wanted to meet. So we met her. Then, of course, the, the only reason, well, one of the reasons that I went to MegaCon this year was to meet Sam Raimi, and I, I wore this shirt. This was a Spider-Man send-in with Dr. Pepper. If you did three proof of purchases, they would send you this Spider-Man shirt. Uh, and, you know, a legend, Evil Dead franchise, Spider-Man trilogy basically my childhood he I told him we did a Spider-Man watch party with all my friends uh, such an influential movie and of course Spider-Man my favorite character so an honor to meet Sam Raimi then Henry Winkler uh, we grew up watching Happy Days and of course he's in Scream so, got him to sign my screen poster. Very cool to meet him. Then, uh, 3C Films, a YouTuber. I, I never thought I would stumble across meeting him. Talked all about Scream 6. He was gonna do a photo op with some of the Scream cast dressed as Ghostface, so that was cool. Cool meeting him. Then Zolo, uh, Miguel from Cobra Kai, and he's in the new Blue Beetle. Super cool to meet him. Uh, then Jacob, who is Hulk in Cobra Kai. Probably my favorite person on Cobra Kai is Hulk. I love his, his kind of character arc and journey in the show. And he's the coolest, no offense to Zolo, but <laughs> Hulk is awesome. Right close second would be Stingray. <laughs> Stingray is so cool. Uh, so cool to meet Jacob. Perry Nimrov, we met years ago uh, at a collider event in Orlando, but saw her again. Uh, it, maybe if you are kind of in the surrounding area, you may have seen her at your local theater with Perry's Picks. So that was cool to see, uh, to meet her again, talk to her. Then we have John Berthel again. Uh, years ago, before I started having the Walking Dead plaque signed at all those Walker Stalkers. I met John, I believe Philadelphia Wizard World. 
uh, back when like the show first started, and I got him this uh, picture. I had to get him to sign the plaque officially, so he's on there and not separated. So cool to meet him again. Then uh, Brick Basinger, who is Star Girl. That was one Josh wanted to see. Then uh, K Jambro. Oh, Koi, Koi Jambro. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm reading my scribbling here. Uh, he's a movie critic and YouTuber. Then uh, Jamie, uh, again. Oh, ja yeah, okay, Jamie Candy and of course Matthew Willard came right up to us during the Q&A panel Jamie practically was in our laps, he was that close. Uh, so that was neat, we've met them of course multiple times, but cool to have that audience, I guess, fan celebrity interaction, that was neat. Then, let's see where we are, Sean Clark, uh, YouTube, um, his channel Malfunction, we met him at the Lakeland Antique Mall, and it's so funny. Uh, we were talking to him, and he's like, do y'all know Adam? Woo, he's with me. And, you know, playing it, playing it cool, I'm like, yeah, we know Adam. Then Adam rounds the corner and just starts laughing. He's like... Yeah, I see these guys everywhere I go, and pract <laughs> practically we do. Uh, so, cool to see Adam as always, but he is not on this list. He's been on this list several times, but Sean Clark is first time officially meeting him. I would see him every year at Walker Stalker. Uh, I would watch his channel because he has a cool collection. He shows off his uh, collection, like props and stuff. But first time officially meeting him. Then uh, Beach Boys met two of the three still remaining. Mike Love, then the keyboardist, I forget his name. Comment down below, but we met them. Then uh, we went to Spooky Empire. We met the Night of the Living Dead cast, four of them. Russ, a.k.a. Johnny, he was cool. He let me wear uh, the glasses from John Romero, so that was cool. Judith, who was Barbara. Kyra S., who was Karen. And then Judith R., who was Judy, met all four of them right in the line. Then Patty Mullen, who was in, uh, I guess you would consider like a B-movie, a horror B-movie. Uh, I guess pretty much a cult classic today. I didn't say, see anything else in her filmography, but we got a picture together. Then, of course, Heather, who is in the Princess Diaries film. She's in Scream 3. She's Randy's little sister. She's in Scream, uh, officially 5, but Scream 2021. Then Brian V... D, uh, who is, he plays dual roles in House of Wax. He was cool to me. He says sisters are twins, so he, uh, they gave him some advice on how to kind of portray twins. That was neat. Then William Forsyth, who was in Dick Tracy. Then the whole cast of the Terrifier. The director, Damien Leon, uh, Art the Clown, David H. Thornton. 
Shiana, uh, Lauren, Pale Girl, Amelia McLean, and then the palette, uh, Thomas Rigman. Then, uh, Wayne the Pooh, Blood and Honey cast. We have, uh, Christopher Robin, Nicola Leon. Then, uh, Alice Amber Doug Thorne. Then, of course, Wayne the Pooh, Craig D. Dowsett. Then, of course, we met Axel Lewis from Walking Dead and a few other things. He thought my plaque was so cool. Uh, he let's take a picture with him, like, holding it. A uh, super cool guy. Then, uh, William Zaka. Uh, Johnny from Cobra Kai. Who, we met in Megacon, right? Yeah, he... <laughs> He was at Spooky Empire. I guess that was a typo there. He should be above the Spooky Empire people. Anyway, we'll fix that. But uh, I've I, I've tried meeting or getting William Zaka to sign stuff, but out of all the Cobra Kai people, he has the longest line usually. Or, he leaves more than the other uh, cast members, like for photo ops, for panels. Uh, so, finally got him his signature this year for my Cobra Kai DVD. Then, Maxim, uh, he was a uh, ghost face in Scream 6. And him and Heather loved my Scream poster. It's kind of made of like a fabric almost, like a thicker fabric, and a beautiful image of the ghost face, and then uh, all the signatures looking beautiful. We're going to add more uh, at Spookala, so that will be part 12 uh, that Spookala will be. Then we got Oliver Robbins who was in Poltergeist 1 and 2. Uh, and back in the day, uh, growing up, we couldn't really watch horror, like horror movies, like Friday the 13th, Halloween. Like, none of that we could watch. Actually, the first time we watched Scream, all three movies were released already. So our, our cousin rented all three we watched back to back to back scream one scream two scream three we kind of did like a restroom break in between each one but all three in one sitting that that was a experience i couldn't sleep that night <laughs> Scared Ghostface would get me, but that was phenomenal. The same night we watched Meet the Parents uh, on mute, we had to read the subtitles because everybody was trying to sleep. Uh, such a memorable night as far as movies go that night. That was cool. But they, they enjoyed my uh, poster. Then... Uh, Oh, Alpha Robbins. What I was saying was, uh, Poltergeist was probably the first horror movie we watched, the first, like, scary movie we could watch. We watched that at another cousin's house. Anything we couldn't watch, we watched at a cousin's house, <laughs> pretty much. But that movie scared me so much. I think we ended up having to watch, like, Mulan or something after, just so I wasn't, like, terrified. Then, uh, we met John Abrams, who is also in House of Wax, but he is in one of my favorite comedies of all time. Meet the Parents, he is Denny 
and he signed uh, my Meet the Parents poster along with one of the greatest lines in the movie. Dude, were you just were you just stiffing my boxers, dude? So that was neat to finally get him to sign the poster. Then uh, Lloyd Kaufman, who is over at Trauma, and most of the Trauma, I guess the current Trauma cast of the films, haven't been keeping up with Trauma at all. Uh, the Toxic Avenger films, I know. There's a few others that I know. But it was cool to, to meet him and talk to him. And uh, Toxie was there. That was cool to get a picture with Toxie. Then we fast forward a couple of days, really, in this timeline. We did Spooky Empire. Then probably a week later, we did Momocon 2023. And we met uh, really... Well, Don Bluth, we met, a famous animator, took on Disney and pretty much was winning there for a couple of years. Uh, done tons of, tons of uh, animated classics, a lot of my childhood, Land Before Time, on and on. We could go, uh, and then we met Odessa who is Dolores in the Encanto film. Uh, then they gave us a ticket to return because he was doing a panel, which we did get to go to because we got a number ticket. But during the kind of intermission, we met Odessa from Encanto. So that was neat. Then, a few weeks later, Ranger Stop 2023 met Najee Jeter, which he is Miles Morales in the, the PlayStation 3 Spider-Man games. He's also in uh, one of the animated series as Miles Morales, so that was neat to see him. I tried sticking solely on uh, getting just Peter Parker autograph. Anybody who's played Peter Parker, get their signature. But we did branch out a little, and it was cool to meet Miles Morales. Hopefully I can meet the other Miles Morales. Uh, he was at Momocon, but obviously couldn't leave Don Blue Slon. Uh... He's in the uh, Into the Spiders and the sequel, uh, where we Barbara Goodson, who is the voice of Rita Repulsa, finally got her to sign the clamshell. Most of the cast we've got, uh, all we're really lacking now is. Uh, Oh, I've had, I had a brain freeze. Ivan Ooze. I don't know. In the video and right now, I want to say Victor Freeze, but that's Batman. Ivan Ooze, who is the bad guy in the Power Rangers movie, he was supposed to be at this Ranger stop, but he had to cancel. Hopefully, we'll get him one day, and that pretty much lock up uh, signatures for that clamshell. Then we, my favorite experience, uh, at least at Ranger Stop, maybe of this whole list, uh, with the exception of Sam Raimi, Aaron Cahill, who was on Power Rangers Time Force, I got her to sign my, my Walt Disney World Vacation Planning movie, 04 to 05, or was it 03 to 04? Anyway, she was the host of that film. She took you all around Walt Disney World. And she was so amazed and shocked that I had that and had her to sign it. She was so happy. And such a cool experience with Erin. Uh, so fun. And we got... 
video of that if you want to see it. It's on the Ranger Stop Convention video. Go and check that out if you haven't seen it yet. So that was cool meeting her. Then last, certainly not least, the last one of part 11 also at Ranger Stop and Pop Convention that was Sean Weiss Goldberg from the Mighty Ducks films and of course he was Josh in the all-time great Heavyweights, a Disney classic, one of Ben Stiller's greatest performances <laughs> ever. Besides Meet the Pants and of course some of the other greats, Zoolander, uh, but phenomenal in heavyweights. Carrying that film with uh, Sean Wise, great cast, uh, but woo, I don't know, allergies are getting me today. But it was cool to officially meet him. Uh, if you watch the Ranger Stop convention video, I talk about how we met him in LA. I think 2018, we were going to see Polly Shore and he was coming as we were going in, but we it didn't really click who he was until he was like, up the street and we tried going back and like getting a photo but couldn't find him finally officially getting a photo and he signed my heavyweights along with uh jerry and i i didn't meet jerry i got that autograph from wet movie one uh he sold it to me maybe one day we'll meet jerry but Officially meeting Sean, and that was such a cool experience. I remember walking into D3, Mighty Ducks 3, with all of our cousins uh, in every single film. We were always late because, you know, imagine trying to get like 15 cousins, like our aunt did this. So imagine wrangling 15 cousins, different ages, different likes, different things, fighting, complaining, trying to get us all in one theater. That must have been a chore, but some of the greatest memories. But the scene where they're rollerblading through and Goldberg like gets hung up on this water hose I remember that scene so vividly, walking into the theater, singing on the big screen. Such a cool experience. So, very cool to meet him. And that was Celebrities We've Met, Part 11. Not sure when Part 12 will come out. Probably next year sometime. But I hope you enjoyed all the celebrities I've got to meet over the year, well, this year specifically, 2023. But like I say, go check out parts one through 10. I've uh, had a good journey meeting uh, some cool people, uh, blessed to uh, have the opportunity to do so. I don't take that lightly, but hope you enjoyed. Until next time, like, subscribe, sh share with a celebrity person, someone who would appreciate these videos. Until next time, go get that autograph, meet that celebrity, and keep collecting.